Today's video is gonna be four steps on how to create wealth in a post-pandemic world. <laughs> 2020 was a big one. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people changed careers. A lot of people went on this path, this journey of trying to find true happiness while still getting paid for it. I think we've entered into this new era of people wanting to do what's best for themselves rather than just what's best for their employer or best for their boss. There's a true desire of finding that balance between happiness and trying to pursue a particular career. I guess being forced home and having to work remote for so many months during the height of the pandemic really caused people to kind of look inwardly and think about what they're doing for their life or what they really care about. Well, in this video, I wanna show you four steps that you can take in order to begin to create wealth, be happy and live the life that you truly desire. Number one, I truly believe that you have to learn sales. I wanna break down what it means to learn sales. You see, we're all professional salesmen. Even when we first came out of our mother's womb, we began immediately selling. You see, we started crying. We started getting our parents' attention because we needed to be changed or we were hungry or we wanted a certain toy as a young baby. Think about the times when we're toddlers, when we are trying to get our parents' attention, we're trying to persuade them. We're trying to sell them on why we need that puppy or why we don't want to eat that particular food. We're literally selling. You see, Merriam-Webster's definition of sales or selling is the act of encouraging or persuading somebody to actually buy into something, an idea, a product, or a service that you're offering. We've been selling since we've been babies. As a teenager, you try to sell your parents on why it's time for you to go sleep over that friend's house, why you need to to go to that party, why you should be buying this new car or the new bicycle that you wanted. You see, as young adults, we persuade our friends on why they need to go see that movie, on why they need to go to that restaurant or go check out that new cafe downtown. Have you ever been around somebody that they have just gotten back from an incredible movie or a, even a Broadway show and they're ranting and raving and what are they doing right there? They're actually selling you, they're persuading you, they're encouraging you to go check out that particular movie. You see, sales is not this crazy boiler room, high stress, car dealership, salesy, spammy idea. You see, simply just by using your voice to persuade somebody to do something or to encourage them to do something, you're actually selling. So you see, sales, sales is not as difficult as people really think it is. Even the most introvert person can actually sell something. They can sell an idea. They can encourage somebody to do something. You see, we can be an employee for the rest of our life, but we're always going to hit that cap. We're always going to hit that ceiling of what our income can be, of what our title, of what our position can be. We'll, we're never going to outrun or outpace the CEO of that particular company. Let me give you some statistics. 46% of salespeople never actually intended on going into sales, but they're sure happy they did. You see, the average salary of a college professor today is about $91,000. The average salary of an engineer is about $70,000. The average salary of a police officer or a firefighter is about $63,000 nationwide. And the average salary for a nurse is about $64,000 starting off. But let me give you a stat. In 2020 alone, the average or median salary for a sales manager was about $120,000. $26,000. That actually equates to be about $66 per hour. Now think about that for one second. The person with the sales experience may not have ever got a college degree or completed their master's or their bachelor's or even their associate, yet they're making more than somebody who spent four to six years getting a college degree to, to look for this specific area of interest that they want to devote the rest of their life to. You see, in this day and age, I really don't think that college is as valuable as it used to be. 
See, I'm giving my my kids, when they're older, I'm gonna give them options. They can go to college if they desire, if they have a specific path in mind that they want to achieve in life or a career that they know they absolutely wanna go to and it takes college, I'll surely uh, encourage them and help them go to college. But if they wanna start a business at a young age, I'm gonna definitely encourage them to be more entrepreneurial and start a business. So don't get scared of the sales word, guys. If you stick around long enough and you follow this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. We're gonna actually give more practical application on ways and techniques to use to help you learn how to sell better, learn how to encourage and motivate other people to do things. Guys, number two is you need to embrace entrepreneurship. Again, just like sales, I believe that at a very young age, we're all designed and created to be this entrepreneur. Have you ever been a kid in school trying to sell a pencil or sell a, an eraser to a friend or sell candy to a friend? Even if you're bartering one piece of your lunch for another piece of your, your lunch, that's an entrepreneurial spirit. And I believe young kids naturally, intrinsically have this entrepreneurial spirit. Marion Webster's definition for entrepreneur is a person who starts a business and is willing to take on the risk in order to make money. You see, as an entrepreneur, there's only one job, and that job is to make money. Now, when you make money, you can do so many other things. You can hire additional people, you can hire a support staff, you can hire management, you can actually go from self-employed to business owner, and eventually from business owner to investor, as the four quadrants speak about in Robert Kiyosaki's book, The Cashflow Quadrants. Sometimes when we talk about entrepreneurship, people get freaked out. They, they think it's like this crazy, far off idea that they can ever be an entrepreneur. They feel like they're gonna be stuck in their job for the rest of their life. Becoming an entrepreneur is really not difficult if you have the tools and the know-how. Anybody can be an entrepreneur. One of the passions that I have is to help people discover and find those entrepreneurial gifts that they have locked deep inside of them. Did you know that 83% of college graduates never end up finding a job in the career that they originally intended on. Have you ever met a friend that they went to school for six years to get a degree and now they're working in a restaurant? It's the craziest thing in the world that we will allow kids to get into hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt just to go into the real world and number one, not have any experience, so not be able to get the job that they're seeking and then having to go and pay all of that debt off for the next 20 or 30 years. And check this out. Did you know that 80 6% of all millionaires in today's day and age are first generation millionaires, which means they didn't have a silver spoon handed to them. They started from the bottom and now they're here. And number three, guys, you have to find the right industry. This one is super, super important. The third one, having to find the right industry may be a little more difficult, may take a little bit more research. It may take some creative thinking and it may also involve some other people maybe guiding and coaching you along the way. And so it's super important that you find an industry that is not oversaturated. Now that may take a little bit of research. You're gonna have to do your due diligence there, find out what you're passionate about. Now you can do a simple Google search for this. I checked out on Forbes. There's a top 10 list of the industries that pop out the most millionaires. Ranking in number one is finances and investments. Now, the financial services industry across the board pops out the most millionaires and doesn't even require a college degree most of the time. And last but not least, guys, number four is you have to find the right platform or system to plug into. When I'm talking about platform and system, I'm talking about having the right coaching and mentoring for you to go to the next level. You see, I'm a firm believer that every man needs a mentor in their life and every man needs to mentor in their life. Whether you're joining somebody's mentorship program or you're buying a course from an individual that is gonna teach you how to level up in business or you're joining a company that already has a system in place that's gonna allow you to build your business to the next level, it is super crucial for your success to get plugged into the right network. You see, your network is your net worth. I know that statement and that phrase has been thrown around for the last 
last few years, but it's so true. Your net work is your net worth. Who you associate with, who you spend time with, who you rub shoulders with is going to determine the outcome of your future and in the end, how much money you truly make. Figuring out what type of system, what type of business that you want to start is going to be the hard part. Now, there's many different types of businesses out there. You have your traditional businesses, your brick and mortars. You have your online digital businesses. You have your network marketing type of businesses. And all three can be a great fit. You really have to choose which one that you really want to go after. Starting a traditional business, brick and mortar, would take a lot of capital. Starting an online business may not take as much capital. Or diving into the network marketing side of things sometimes is the lowest barrier of entry into entrepreneurship. Well, that's it, guys. I hope this video brought some clarity to you. Hit that thumbs up and share this video on your social media networks. Until the next video, make sure you live well, laugh loud, and learn to be a better you. We'll see you later.